Rachel, you set the straws. Hello, fellow couch potatoes. Welcome to my channel. Let's get to today's video. The episode opens up with a peek into the first night each couple spends mostly together and the first morning as spouses. Katina and Ola experience includes a kiss and some cuddles, both of which she thinks could use some improvement. Meanwhile, Mark and Lindsay talk about their mothers. He shares that his own mom has depression and Lindsay's not deterred by that, expressing support for her new spouse immediately. Jasmina learns her stepfather told Michael to be wary of being bossed around by her, which makes them both laugh. Steve places a ring pop on Noy's hand as they prep for bed and Alyssa and Chris plan to sleep in separate rooms as he remains in the dark about why she's reluctant to stay with him. The next morning, most of the couples enjoy breakfast together as they prepare to meet each other's families for brunch and learn more about their new husband and wives. Alisa and Chris talk privately the night of their wedding with Alisa informing Chris that she got a bad vibe from him. She isn't confident about the situation but still plans to meet him for coffee to talk some more. After talking it through, Alisa agrees to go through the process and doesn't want Chris to think she's not serious about the marriage, but it's clear there's a massive disconnect happening. Jasmine kicks off brunch meeting chats with Michael's sister. They all discuss how Michael is a gentleman and the siblings advise that Jasmina be patient with her new husband as he always seems to have a doubtful mindset. As for Jasmina's mom and sisters, they ask Michael about what examples of marriage he's had in his life, but he doesn't have any. They seem pleased to hear that he was raised by women and Jasmina's mom advises that Michael be careful about expectations because marriage is never what people think it will be. Noi has a good time with Steve's parents and although they discuss his lack of a job, the meeting goes relatively well, especially when they talk about Steve's embrace of noise culture. Meanwhile, Steve is grilled by Noy's other sister, who is actually her brother's alter ego. They ask about the job situation and Noy's parents seem particularly interested in grandchildren setting the men up in a tense predicament. Lindsay's meet up with Mark's friends focus on the topic of his mom and they ask her to break down his guard and help him experience life in a fun and new way. As for Mark, he receives a Lindsay survival kit from her friends and is told to say no to his new bride when necessary. Alisa remains relatively quiet around Chris's family who informs her that she'll most likely come second to work in Chris's life. Oh no, why are they giving her another reason to opt out of this marriage? Meanwhile, Chris is quite open with her mother about their lack of connection and is told to remain persistent in winning Alisa over. Katina meets Ola's family and is gifted with a cheerleader shirt because she's Ola's newest cheerleader. While she appreciates the gesture, Ola isn't found of Katina's friends who treat him like a suspect instead of offering helpful information. The couple learn that their honeymoon will take place in San Juan, Puerto Rico as they received gift baskets with gear and information. Ola practices dancing with Katina while they pack and Lindsay shares tips with Mark about traveling. Meanwhile, Alisa agrees to go with Chris but isn't thrilled about his turn as a yes man to keep her happy. Upon arriving in San Juan, a situation arises when Lindsay supposedly makes comments about how people should attempt to speak Spanish since it's their primary language there. 
Ola doesn't take kindly to the suggestion and couples have to travel separately from the airport to the hotel as the rest of the episode focuses on things cooling down. When all of the couples, except for Mark and Lindsay, regroup for pina coladas on the beach, Mark shows up and offers an apology to Ola. Way to go, Mark. You are not wrong in this situation. Back in the room, Lindsay talks about how supportive Mark is being towards her and gets her tears under control. Ola agrees to make amends, but we never see him or Lindsay in the same vicinity throughout the rest of the episode. Meanwhile, Alisa essentially doesn't acknowledge Chris and stays in a separate room from her husband. When he confronts her about her efforts to make the marriage work, she storms off. Like this girl, what a wow. Which couple do you think will actually enjoy their honeymoon together? Who is your favorite couple so far? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Until next time, see you soon. Hey, Couch Potato, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.